Hey tennis fans, I'm Grace Carter and this is Tennis Now presented by Tennis Express. Tennis Express, order today and it ships today. It has been a wild 2017 tennis season. And as we start to wind down, we're looking back through the archives to remember exactly what it was that made this year so special. We of course remember who won the majors and who claimed the big titles, but who made us cry? So here we go with tennis's tear jerkers of 2017. Number one, Venus and Serena hug at the Australian Open. The women's singles final there pitted two of the greatest women in history, and Serena Williams came away with her 23rd major title. But it was this amazing speech by her older sister Venus that really started the tears flowing. What a perfect moment, and what a brilliant speech from start to finish. <laughs> Thank you to my team. Love you guys, y'all rock. Serena Williams. <laughs> That's my little sister, guys. <laughs> Congratulations, Serena, on number 23. I have been right there with you. Some of them I lost right there against you. <laughs> yeah, yes, that's weird, but it's true. And <laughs> but it's, it's been an awesome thing. Your win has always been my win. I think you know that. And all the times that I couldn't be there, wouldn't be there, didn't get there, you were there. I'm enormously proud of you. You mean the world to me. Sister Isha, where are you? Oh, dang, she didn't come. <laughs> I get it, it's too hard. I get it. Isha, I love you. Lindrea, my sister, I love you. Mother, dad, I love you guys. I, a God willing, would love to come back. Thank you for all the love. Thank you. Wow. And we thought it wouldn't get better after this match point hug. Boy, were we wrong. Number two, Serena and Venus weren't the only players bringing us to tears at this year's Australian Open. How about the amazing play of Mirjana Lucic Baroni at this year's Australian Open? She reached the semis of a major for the first time since 1999 and was naturally full of emotion after achieving that impressive and well-deserved milestone. Like I said the other day at my press conference, one day I will say a long big story about things that happened to me, but um, I never could dream about being here again. And this is just... <laughs> I know this means a lot to every player that reaches semifinals, but to me this is just... This is overwhelming. I will never, ever, ever forget this day and this uh, last couple of weeks. This has truly made my life and everything that everything bad that happened, it has made it okay. And, and just the fact that I was this strong and that it was worth fighting this hard is really incredible. Number three, 35-year-old Feliciano Lopez waited a very long time to capture his first ATP 500 title, but he achieved the dream in a surreal setting at the Queen's Club in London in 2017, and the moment was pure emotion. Any fan of old-school grass court tennis had to agree. It was so nice to see a player like Lopez get his due at an iconic grass court setting, and his enthusiasm for the moment only added to the achievement. Number four, this one pains us even as we reflect the raw emotions that we saw from Steve Johnson in Paris as he played on with a heavy heart due to the loss of his father. It left us gutted and speechless. It was hard to watch knowing the type of person that Steve Sr. was, how instrumental he was in his son's tennis career, and how close the pair were when they were together. Thanks, guys. Steve, coming off a unbelievable battle, obviously an emotional win on many levels. You want to try and articulate your reaction as best you can? Are we in a place to do that? No, I just, I know, I just miss my dad, you know. I wish he was following along. I know he is from upstairs, but uh, it's just so emotional. Uh, it's hard to describe. I just, 
you know, I just know he was looking down with me on that last point and, you know, gave me the strength to finish it off. And yeah, it's just. And last on today's list of tear jerkers, the remarkable, soulful and inspiring comeback of Petra Kvitova. The Czech was attacked in her apartment last December and suffered lacerations to her hand that were, well, you've seen the pictures on the internet, so you know how bad the injury was, but Kvitova wasn't about to cower in fear and let a bad situation take her from the sport that she loves. In fact, the injury and the aftermath only served to reinforce a bond between Kvitova, tennis, and her fans. She made a stunning and emotional return to Roland Garros, and it wasn't about tennis or winning. It was about finding balance in a cruel world and soldiering on as a beacon of light and an inspiration to fans and peers. And yep, we cried. And yes, the tears kept coming when she won the title at Birmingham just a few weeks later. Kvitova, sealed with an ace on wide. Rocket to the ground. She loves it, the team loves it, and Kvitova has done it. She is the champion in Birmingham in 2017, beating Ash Barkley. Four, six, six, three, six, two. Boy, there were some truly emotional moments during the 2017 tennis season. That's what we love most about tennis. The sport is so chock full of heroes who are willing to give so much of themselves to the sport that they love and the fans who love them. Yes, tennis fans are blessed. Thanks for watching part one of 2010 Tennis Tear Jerkers. Let us know what you think, and if you want any other moments covered in part two, leave your favorite tearjerker moments in the comments section, and we'll see you next time. <laughs>